Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. We have the third book, illustrated by John Classen, but this time the author is Mac Barnett, and the book is called Extra Yarn. And we are, well, on our way to a thousand ad-free stories forever for boys and girls around the world. And thank you for waiting. We've had a few weeks of resting because of pandemics and workloads, as you parents and uh, carers will know. So we're back into the swing of things and it feels really great. So, thank you for listening and hanging on there. But back to the story, because it's all about the story. Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Cresson. Once upon a time. On a cold afternoon, in a cold little town, where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every colour. So she went home and knitted herself a jumper, and when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn, so she knitted a jumper for Mars too, but there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Luke pointed and laughed and said, You two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Luke. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a jumper for Luke and his dog and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her jumper. Quiet! shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabel, that jumper of yours is terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabel said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could, and she did even for Mr. Norman, and when she was done, Annabel still had extra yarn. So she knitted jumpers for her mom and dad, and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton, and for the Dr. Palmer, and for little Louis. She made jumpers for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore jumpers or even trousers, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No jumper for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then Annabel still had extra yarn. She made jumpers for all the dogs and all the cats, and for the other animals too. Soon, people thought, soon Annabel will run out of yarn, But it turned out she didn't. So Annabelle, Annabelle made jumpers for all things that didn't even wear jumpers. Wow. Things began to change in that little town. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn. And people came to visit from around the world to see all the jumpers and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day an archduke who was very fond of clothes sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn and I'm willing to offer you one million pounds. No thank you, said Annabel, 
who was knitting a jumper for a pickup truck. The Archduke's moustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house and they stole the box and took it to the Archduke who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. The Archduke put on his favourite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. His moustache quivered, it shivered, it trembled. The arts duke hurled the box out of the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You'll never be happy again. But... <laughs> it turned out she was the end of an amazing book by Mark Bennett illustrated by the awesome John Classen called Extra Yarn another book you have to hold in your hand and look at to believe and see well she gets the box back it was empty when the Duke sat down and opened it Wow, awesome book. Can't believe I haven't read it sooner than this on the show. And that's another one on top of I want my hat back and this is not my hat. Classic. So, that's it here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls with boxes of yarns that don't run out around the world. Good night.